Hello world, Shelly here, and today I've got some of the empties that I have gone through during my trip to Ireland this summer. I am filming this on our last day in Galway. We are leaving tomorrow to head back to the airport and then flying out on the next day. So by the time you see this, of course, I will already be home, but oh, Galway, it has been a blast. I'm looking past you out the window because I'm sitting in front of the window in my apartment here in Galway and bittersweet, bittersweet. But let's go through some of the things I've finished up while I've been here. Now, when I pack for a long trip like this, this trip is, I have one more stop after Ireland. I'm going to Salt Lake City for a week. So the overall time I've been gone is approaching six weeks, almost six weeks. It's almost a six week trip. And so when I pack for these trips, I try to bring things that I'm going to finish up by the time I leave, have enough to not have to buy a new one, but finish up before I go. And everything that I intended to finish up, oh, I'm missing something. Where, where? I was so proud of that one. Please hold. It's here, it just rolled away. I try to bring things that I'm going to finish up and not have to purchase new ones because I'm also going to, in, in of course, buy things while I'm here. So I need to displace the extra weight of the things I buy with the things that I can finish up and get rid of. So the one I was very proud of that rolled away. The Laneige Cream Skin Toner and Moisturizer. The reason I was proud of myself for this one is that I was using this for seven skins, but I've been doing my seven skins as like two to three skins in the morning. I don't need it as much in the high humidity here, but I do still need it. My skin is always dehydrated as is my whole body. And so I was very happy to finish this up because that means I did what I intended to do, which is be consistent with a seven skins like extra hydration step in my skincare. So I did go through this. It was one of the little samples that I had. I have a few things that I use for seven skins. Primarily my favorite is the spray bottle of the COSRX alcohol free um, Sika toner. Uh, but this was lovely. It worked very well for this purpose. If you happen to have a sample of this or you get your hands on it, it's from Laneige. I like Laneige. This stuff's good. It worked very well. Next thing I finished is something I had brought with with the intention of finishing, and I did. The Sephora. This is the Clean Skin Gel. You know that I'm, like, not incredibly loyal to any particular cleansers because I feel like as long as they're not drying me out and they're cleaning off my makeup effectively, then I'm pretty happy. And this was one that surprised me in that I really like it. It removes my makeup very easily, even when I'm wearing waterproof mascara. And it's inexpensive. It's got no added fragrance ingredients. It was just one that I really, really like. And where I would normally not make any promises to repurchase a cleanser, this is a cleanser that I will probably have on my list to repurchase. I really, really enjoyed it. It also worked really well as a second cleanse with a cleansing balm as my initial cleanse. I didn't bring any balms with me here to Ireland, but back home, I would typically use it as my second cleanse. Uh, so highly recommend it. I like this one, it's good. I've seen on Sephora's website, I didn't put any product in my hair, so pardon me, it is falling in my face. I forgot the last step. The, <laughs> I saw on Sephora's website that they have a few variations of this cleanser now for different skin types. This is the one, I've got the Cleanse and Tone, the Clean Skin Gel, uh, the PBT, prebiotics version. If you don't know, prebiotics are what feed all the good bacteria that lives on your skin, like your prebiotics and your probiotics. It's you know, it's good stuff. It's good stuff. Highly recommend. I like this one. The next thing I finished up was a bottle of my Curology. This is my nighttime skincare. I use it three to four nights a week. It's my tretinoin prescription. Tretinoin, what else is in mine? All of a sudden I'm blanking. Niacinamide, niacinamide and azelaic acid. That is my Curology super bottle. 
Bravo, finished it up, happy day. One less thing to take home with me. All right, this I purchased while I was here. I have not seen this variety of it back in the States. It's probably there and I just haven't been looking, but you know the micellar water, not micellar water, the like the wonder water, the eight second wonder water, the lamellar water that we use on our hair, right? I found this one here at Boots. It's from Garnier Ultimate Blends Nourishing Banana Hair Drink. And it's just a, this, it's a lamellar water. Same, you put it in, massage it in for 10 seconds, rinse it out. Same as the L'Oreal um, Alviv, the eight second wonder water. The Garnier has one in the States that I have used. I've gone through entire bottles of it. In terms of my preference between the Wonder Water and the Garnier, I don't see a difference. I have had a lot of people comment that they prefer the L'Oreal Wonder Water, but they seem to work the same on my hair. This one smells like bananas and it smells so good. It's bananas, B-A-N-A-N-A-S. I love it, it smells so good. Like that, it just smells good. And I love these products in my hair. So I finished up this one. I mean, I see that I got a little dibby dab in there. I missed it in my shower this morning. I was close, I was close. Also, I brought this one with me, the Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream. I had a little like sample kit, little four piece sample kit. I went through the moisturizer. I like their moisturizers. They smell nice. It feels like you're kind of in a spa. It's very, very treat yourself kind of a deal. Uh, I only buy them on sale because <laughs> Elemis is so expensive. I love their stuff, but it's, it's, it, that's expensive. Uh, but I did finish up this one and enjoyed it as I do because I've used a lot of their products and I've enjoyed them all. I don't think there's anything by Elemis I haven't enjoyed now that I'm thinking of it. I don't think so. Also... There is one left in here, but I'm going to use it tomorrow morning when I leave it out when I'm packing, and then I will use it tomorrow morning when I wash my face. Uh, this is the Boots Cleansing Wipes Sensitive Skin. I don't use cleansing wipes to remove makeup at home very often. They're kind of like an emergency thing if I have like a really rough night and I have no... Um, if the alternative is go to bed with my makeup on or use a makeup wipe, I will use a makeup wipe. I try not to get to that point, but when I'm traveling... It's harder to bring your whole arsenal of skincare with, and I don't have much storage room in the bathroom here, so uh, I do use makeup wipes as a first cleanse often when I'm traveling. So went through a pack of these. I actually bought another package because I have another week left on this trip. So I do have another package that will go with me, but <sighs> next up. This is not beauty. This is self-care. Oh! you guys it's my favorite it's my favorite thing oh my god it's so good it's so delicious it's so amazing it's so fantastic it's so good irish sea salt butlers this is probably gonna be all backwards to you irish atlantic sea salt dark chocolate from butlers oh and it's not super dark it is vegan uh it's so good <laughs> It's so good. I can't. I just, I already bought extras to bring home with me. So the fact that I have an empty doesn't really say anything because I'm bringing more home with me anyway. All right, last thing. This is not an empty. It's about to be empty. My favorite potato chips. Oh, oh my God. You guys, seriously. Okay, occasionally I can find these on Amazon, like six bags for like $30. And I buy them. Sometimes I do. I have to. They're so good. The thing is, sweet Irish vinegar. It is not the same as any vinegar on any chip I have ever tried in the U.S. And I promise you, I've tried a lot of chips. This body don't run on love. Uh, this stuff is so good. It's, oh my God, it's so good. I'm so glad that I can get it when I'm like desperate. I mean, I will literally in the middle of the year months off of being here, like haven't been here in forever. And I'll be like, oh, I just crave them. I want them so much. Oh, deliciously fresh Irish potato chips. And what's really cool about theirs, okay, I'm just nerding out now, but okay. I'm sorry if it's noisy. On the back of the label, they tell you which of their farms it was cooked at, 
or picked from and cooked at, which, who cooked it, what variety of potato on their farms, and what day, um, or that's the best before date. I thought it did have the date that they were picked. So these were picked in the field called Ward Cross. It's the Kibitz variety of potato cooked by Andre. And oh, Kyogs are so good. You're so, so good. I mean, other flavors are fine. And other brands, like I'm a big fan of the Tato's here, like the Tato chips here in Ireland, but the, these are my favorite. These are my all time, hands down, best flavor, best brand, all of it, best, amazing. I'm looking over the vanity over there. I need to start packing. Yes, another trip has come to an end. There's my empties. That's what I've gone through since I've been here in Ireland. What have you gone through lately? What is your summer routine running you through? What do you need to repurchase? What will you not repurchase? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, thanks a lot for taking some time out of your day to geek out over, I guess, makeup, travel, skincare. I don't know what we're geeking out over, but we're geeking. I appreciate your time and I hope you guys all have an awesome day or night wherever you are in the world. Take care of each other. Bye-bye.